Oh man, it felt great um, just to be back out there. Um, and the most important thing is just finishing the game, feeling healthy. So um, it was good. Overall team uh, team win, um, offensively, defensively, special teams, everybody came together, uh, you know, pitched in and um, it was victorious today. Physically, any issues with uh, running no. your routes or anything? That's what I said, man. Just coming out of this game, just feeling the way I feel, I feel great. Um, I didn't have any setbacks. I didn't feel it throughout the game, anything like that. So um, just building days, building games. So, I mean, I'm very excited, you know, moving forward for myself. This offense, oh, sorry, this Not offense had uh, some issues with turnovers the last couple of games, but nine, none today. I mean, how important was that for you guys to, you know, protect the football today? Um, it's very important, you know. Um, Playing this game of football for a very long time, and as you turn the football over, you can't win games. So you don't put yourself in the best situation to win games. Um, defense did a great job for us today, going out there, and creating a bunch of turnovers for us. Offense, offense, um, you know, just held on to the ball and did what we needed to do, and everybody protected the football. That's you know, that was one of our things this week. Is you know, and moving forward, is all of us just protect the football. You lose two straight going into the bye. I mean, just overall, how did it feel to just come out with a, with a win today after the bye? <clears throat> um, for me, I don't look back. I don't look back because I always look forward. Um, it was a great team win today. Uh, we're going to, you know, enjoy this and then just get back to work uh, either Monday or Wednesday. Julio, only three points off the turnover. He's got a, maybe if there's one like sour for only three points off the four turnovers. That's, yeah. That's got to be going forward. you got to get more of that. Right? Um, uh, for us, absolutely, you want to capitalize on different things. But um, at the end of the day, you know, uh, defense just kept stepping up for us. You know, we'll, we'll team together um, and we'll get it rolling. But it's, you know, it's one game at a time. Um, we did what we needed to do today to win. A couple more. Julio, sorry if you've been asked, how do you feel health wise that you make it through today? Yeah, that was already the answer. <laughs> you need it. You feel good? <laughs> yeah, I feel good. <laughs> no, I'm good, man. I feel great. Uh, what's, the last few, what's the last few weeks been like in terms of having to sit out and then yeah. you know, get right again? Um, ultimately, for me, it's, it was just, just focusing on, you know, how can I get back to help the team and doing all the things I could do to be ready when it was time for me to come back to play. And, um, you know, the training staff here, everybody, um, Braves, he was just like, I needed to show I can play and different things like that. Um, but for me, it was good. It was just easy. Um, a lot of hard work, though, but it's easy because that's what I'm accustomed to doing to uh, come back and you know make a run. Well, you know, third quarter, Last question. Sort of a deeper route. Uh, this comes to you, but you came up hopping a little bit. You went back no, 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 no. I, ain't hop I wasn't hopping on no, like, any injury or anything okay. like that. That's all the way I, wanted, I, wanted, I wanted the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to hop like I was injured, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I know I killed the safety. I had a safety on me, but um, unfortunately it didn't work out, but it is what it is. So no tweaks today? No, no tweak, no nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm solid. I'm ready to go. Oh, it was it was great. Uh, coach challenged us to get the ball out, and I think I don't know. We had an interview on Wednesday or Thursday. I told y'all turnover come over in bunches, and, and we got bunches today. So uh, it was a great week of practice and uh, great uh, execution on our uh, on our side of the ball. And uh, guys, when the plays uh, came, guys made it. So it was good for us. Helped out helped out our offense a lot. And oh yeah, no, it was like. And how much you know, take these steps? It's, it's fun all like, on a day like that when you come home. What's the energy like when one guy gets a pick and another guy gets one? And you guys just kind of like a beating friend at that point? Yeah, no doubt. Uh, you know, just challenge each other just to make plays and have fun. And, and it's more fun when guys are uh, we're balling. So guys are balling all over, <clears throat> all over uh, the field. And we made it happen. How good was it for you and for Sean and the inside yeah, back to be able to get those interceptions? Oh, that was good. Uh, that was cool. Uh, we were just saying, like, when the last time two inside linebackers had, had interceptions in the same game. So that was a, a cool moment for us and uh, ended up with a shutout as well. We haven't had a shutout. I uh, found out since, like, Christmas. So, Few years. It was a few years we got to the Oh, wow. Yeah. So that, that was a big accomplishment because uh, I don't remember a lot. I remember, I remember our last one was a uh, away game versus you know, the Giants a couple years ago. So that was a big compliment uh, as well. How did it feel just overall to, you know, after Sean going into the bye to come out and get a uh, it was, it was, uh, the bye did what it needed to do, uh, got us away, uh, refocused, and, and 
and uh, focus on our techniques and our fundamentals throughout the week of practice and show them the game. I mean, he got that. He got that. He got that cat on him. He got that cat on him. Mighty fly, mighty fly over there, man. I got. I got to step my. I got to step my game up. So. Yeah, it was a good start. There's still a lot of things we could do better, uh, especially in the run game. Uh, and we got Tannehill hit too many times. But you know, coming back from a bye, um, you know, those guys play hard. And I've been in that situation before. 2014, 2015, I know what those guys are going through. It's tough when you're in December and it's a five game season for them. So hats off to them for playing as hard as they did. Um, you know, we just, we played good ball today. We did a good job of fighting through that 40 to 40 range and putting, you good boss? Uh, well, all right, I'm still gonna answer the question. <laughs> Is this kind of what you guys were supposed to do today? Yeah. Dominate and inferior your team and feel like you guys did that? You know, it's the NFL, so you know, to say that's an inferior team like you know that's tough. They got talented guys out there, they have talented edge rushers, our defense just played played a really good game. And uh, that team is gonna do a good job in, in the future. I think uh, Trevor Lawrence is, you know, that guy's a winner. He's been a winner since high school. Um, and they're just in that phase that the Titans were, you know, 2014, 2015. And so I expect them to, you know, be better next season, the year after that. And so, like I said, they, they scrapped the whole day. There was no quit from them. So um, hats off to them. You got you to talk a lot of that. Am I, am I on this one now? Yes. I'm going to move this. You said there's some things you can work on in the run game. Have you kind of developed at least a consistency uh, in the run game that maybe was not there a few in the first few weeks? I think we're – yeah, that's a good question. I think we're figuring it out. I think we're uh, – you know, Derek's Derek. You know, there's a reason why I'm wearing his shoes. He's the king, right? So they definitely um, – was a, was a big loss when we lost them. But we got guys in there that can run the ball. They run the ball hard and, the, and they know what their skill sets are. And I think Todd did a good job of putting those guys in a position to be successful. But as an offensive line, we, I think we left a lot of meat on the bone. There was a lot of situations where um, we could have been better. That's how it always is. So, um, you know, regroup, everyone's gonna get healthy. I think, I don't know if the guys got hurt this game, but hopefully it was a relatively injury-free game and we'll continue to play a Steelers team that you know, you go into Heinz, Heinz Field, they are they're a great defense. Um, you know, Ben's Ben regardless, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They say it's his last year or whatever, like, he is a stud. And they have great offensive players. So we have our hands full next week, and, and uh, we'll be, get back on track with that on Wednesday. What was it like to be coming back on the field with so much sudden change today? It was awesome. Uh, I, you'd like it to be more complimentary. I think we got 16 yards on, on one turnover right in the middle of the field. we got to be better at playing complimentary football as an offense. So, um, but it's great to see the defense have success like that. That makes, you know, when we score on the first drive, it, it takes a lot off them. And when they get picks like that, it takes a lot off us. So uh, we got to do a better job of taking their turnovers and turning it into points. And so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll hopefully address that and continue to move forward. Taylor, you mentioned some Speaking about the injuries, you know, a guy like Rogers after trying to battle through injury time and time again, what can you say about his effort? Yeah, Roger's a scrapper, man. I, I, I can't say enough good things about Roger Saffold. That's my boy, man. I, I love that guy. He's a great dude. Um, he works extremely hard. And so, um, you know, whatever he's got going on, whatever he's dealing with, I have no doubt he'll attack it 100%. And, um, you know, I know what he's dealing with. And I've had the thing he's dealing with before, and it is a pain in the ass. It is just one of those really nagging things. And um, I just hope that you know, I know that he's going to attack it. I hope that he feels a lot better come the, the end of this week. What's it mean or what could it mean to have William Jones back in the morning? You'd have to ask Tannehill that. I, um, I've never thrown a ball to Julio Jones, not even in pre-practice. So I really don't know. But, you know, the guy, Julio, Julio Jones is Julio Jones. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a reason why they called him cheat code in Atlanta. So I, I think um, any time on on, when he's on the field that we uh, – we're lucky to have him on this team. So do you feel like you guys were re-energized, came after the bye? Did you notice maybe playing faster? Yeah, I felt like we did play a little faster. I definitely, I, when these situations, when you haven't watched the film or anything yet, you got to speak for yourself individually because you, you don't know what happened. But for me personally, I felt a whole lot better. You know, I think in the beginning of the season, I had the, the little thing here and there, and I missed a couple games. And it's nice to get a stretch in and get a bye, get healthier, and then and keep moving forward. So. 
Uh, just continue to grow in those things. That's, that's important. It's a long season. The NFL decided to make it a little longer. So, uh, you know, it's one of those things you gotta really take care of your body, especially in December and January. Man, it felt, it felt good, man. It's, it's, I've been out for a long, it felt like a year, it felt like. And just to be out there with my teammates, be out there and, you know, just go out there and just you know, feel, feel the energy, feel how, you know, how these guys go out there and prepare and do all the little things that we normally do. And, you know, that's what I was missing. It was just the little things, you know, being able to go to practice, being able to see my coaches, being able to go to the room. Being able to prepare for a game and then going out there, you know, and doing it all, all in one, you know, it just felt good. Coach Rabel said there was a different energy and speed out there for you guys. Yeah. Uh, for you personally, uh, there you go. There we go. For you personally, you know, was it kind of like your goal to go out there and, and contribute to that to elevate that speed? Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Um, you know, I, just for me being outside looking, watching the games when I was out, um, you know, I, I definitely want to try to bring some type of energy. Definitely want to try to bring. You know that that type of you know play to you know the defense, and I, I know these guys was already playing good anyway. So you know to have everybody kind of come back slowly but surely. You know we still got some guys that's coming back off you know IR and then you know and other things. So you know, we can get everybody back you know for these next four games. Uh, you know we, we got we got a good outcome coming up next. For sure. How you felt physically. Right? Mm -hmm. A lot of guys probably felt a little boost after the bye. Did you feel especially fresh? I feel good. It yeah. feel like a new season for me, to be honest with you. Um, you know, it allowed me to be able to, you know, also get my ankle right, but I, at the same time, you know, shoulders, legs, everything feel good. So I'm ready to play. Have you been saving that coat for Jaguars? I, I, you know what? I've been saving it this whole time for this type of game. So I'm just glad I was able to wear it for this game and, you know, give me a pick. Rashawn, the, uh, the takeaway today, obviously the defense had struggled the previous couple of games, taking the ball away. How good was it today to do that and how important was it? I think it was really important. Um, you know, as a defense as a whole, man, we, we try to be the, want to be the best in the nation if we can, um, in the world if we can. And, you know, for us to be able to go out there individually, you know, do our jobs and do all the things that we need to do, you know, you saw how, how that happens, man. When, when everybody's in on one accord, all three phases, you know, special teams, offense, and defense, when everybody's doing what they need to do, you know, you got a big win. Shut up. You guys are showing a lot of plays, but is it important also to kind of let them make mm -hmm. their mistakes? Oh, no doubt. Um, you know, at, at the end of the day, regardless of a record of a team, you know, they're still a good team. You know, they're still a pro. So um, we respect those guys. Those guys still play hard at the same time, and we're looking forward to next week. Rashawn, personally, do you feel like you maybe needed a, a game like this? Obviously, a frustrating yeah, yeah, season here. for you and miss five straight. Mm -hmm. Just to kind of get going, that TFL to start, mm -hmm. then the picks to mm -hmm. kind of start the takeaway surge. Mm -hmm. Were you thinking? No, I mean, good? yeah, I felt good. Um, you know, I knew it was going to come. I knew it was going to be an opportunity for me to be able to do those things. Um, you know, it was all really all about just you know making sure I do all the little things to get back to the field. And, you know, I think the trainers, I think uh, all the coaches, and you know all the guys that's you know been rooting for me. You know, my you know, me getting back on the field and stuff like that. So I'm just happy to be back, man. I'm happy to be back on the team. Happy to be you know just back in the stadium, see the energy, see the fans. You know, it's, it's you know it's a little overwhelming for me, but you know it feel good. Oh, it was great to see the difference make plays. I mean, them, them guys balled out. Um, you know, and you know the just getting back to the basics and just doing what we. Do. Um, going out there and playing physical, uh, finishing, and just you know playing our style of football. I think we did that today. Um, but it, I mean, it's still stuff we could clean up, still stuff that we could build on. But I think we went out there and put a complete team game together. Beyond the shot, along those lines, just the offense being able to protect the ball obviously had been a problem the previous two games. So how important was that today? Uh, very important. Uh, something that we talked about for the last two weeks, um, and just something that we uh, we just want to be more aware about, uh, just protecting the ball, not having it loose away from our body, and uh, just going out there running hard and finishing our runs. Um, and today we were able to protect the football, and we ran the ball pretty well. How about overall, just you know, those two losses going into the bye, we come back and you get it adopted. How good does that feel and how important is that? Uh, it feels great. Uh, felt good. Uh, I think the team, we definitely needed that. Uh, we needed to feel, you know, get us another win and, you know, just try to build on it, you know. Um, you know, it's, it's it's around that time right now where you know things are getting things are getting tight, and you know we just got to find a way to win ball games and go out there and just try to make our push.